Hello, today we're going to be working on Ragnar Gunstein. This is a Forge World miniature, and he's part of the Necromunda line. He's a squat hired gun, and he's also an ammo jack. So we're going to be painting him up in some synthwave style colors. I'm going to show you what I go through to get him looking pretty poppy. first thing that we're going to work on with Ragnar here is going to be his skin tone, since that's one of the deepest areas topography on the model. I don't know if that's a word. We'll go with it. Screw it. Uh, we're going to start off with some of the Reaper skin tones, dark shadow, dark skin, dark highlight, and then we'll be using tan shadow to bring out some of the higher tones and doing some final highlights with blonde hair. I'm starting off here with a blend of both dark shadow and dark skin. Getting a nice thick base coat of this onto Ragnar's exposed areas, which he only has a few. Uh, his face, one of his arms around the elbow, and a few of his fingers on one hand. And at this point, I'm bringing in some dark highlight. We'll start building up some of the higher areas on his scalp and outer areas of his elbow and the tips of his fingers. And at this point, I'm gonna bring in some tanned shadow into the mix and mix that with a little bit of my previous tones into the higher recesses of the face, some of the more exposed areas of the head and the arm and again the fingers. And we're bringing some of the blonde hair into the mix, mixing that with some of the tan shadow, and again, bringing out some of the highest highlights here. We're going for a very kind of burnished face, so if he's been working around a lot of soot and ash. So at this point I'm happy with the skin tones, and I'm going to start basing in other colors here on the model. Primarily we're using pink, teal, and yellow. So we're going to be using Streamer Pink, Stegadon Green, and Averland Sunset to lay in the base colors on the rest of the mini. This is going to take a little bit of time. So you can see we're picking out different pieces of the model with different base colors. 
We're using pink on various bits of leather, cloth, and his mechanical arm. Using dark teals on armor plates, his weapon, his tools, and then we're picking out his grenades, his additional ammo, and his hair for doing yellows. Quickly at this point I'm adding in a little bit of ivory blended with some dark shadow to get the shirt sleeve. So now that we've got most of the base tones in, we're going to work on his pants. And to do that, it's already base toned black. We're going to bring in some blue violet and mix that with a little bit of nightshade purple to create some very small subtle highlights around the folds on his pants for kind of a black leather black cloth look. All right, now at this point, we're gonna try to bring the yellows up in the hair a little bit by adding some Cassandora yellow. This brings an orangey yellow saturated tone into the recesses and tints the rest of the Averland sunset we've already applied. At this point, we are done applying the Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to get out some of what my friend Genuine Vision calls Magimix, which is a pre-mixed uh, composition of Nolan Oil, Agrax Shade, and Lamian Medium. And we're going to use this on the other bits of yellow to make them a little bit darker, a little bit dingier, and to get into the recesses. Alright, now that we've applied our shades, we've touched up the Averlin Sunset just a smidge in a couple of spots. And at this point, we're going to focus on our other colors. We're going to start blending them up, starting with the teals. We're going to go for a mid-tone of Aramon Blue from Citadel to start working in the blues on the various uh, areas that we've covered with Stegadon Scale Green up to this point. You can see that I'm hitting various bits of the blue with the mid-tone, working the light in the general upward direction. Uh, we're hitting the areas to make more of a contrast between the Stegadon scale green and the eventual high, uh, high tone here, which will be Baroth blue. And a somewhat metallic, but not necessarily a structured non-metallic fashion. So 
So we've applied our mid-tone over our base Stegodon scale green. There's a little bit of texture in areas, but that actually works to our favor. We're trying to keep our highlights tight and close and go for that synth wavy look. Next, we're gonna bring in our high tone for the blue, which is gonna be Baroth blue. And we're gonna use this as our high tone on each of these bits. At this point our blues are done and we're going to give the pink tones the same treatment. We're going to get out our mid and high tones as well as our bass tone just to do a little bit of blending between. But most importantly we need to get out our Emperor's Children pink as a mid tone and Fulgrim pink as a high tone which is a very close to an off white. We'll be using these in various areas here on his mechanical arm, his glove, his boots, his backpack and we'll be giving the arm a bit more of a metallic look, the leathers a bit more of a leather look, and a little bit of cloth texture to the backpack as well to break up the model texturally. Next we're going to work on the yellow tones on Ragnar, his hair, his grenades, his additional ammunition. We'll be using Flash Gits Yellow and Ivory to highlight both of those areas out, whether they've been washed with Cassandora Yellow or darker Magimix wash. We'll get the hair highlighted and gradiated outwards, so where it grows out the most we'll make it more ivory. And then additionally, there are pins and tags on some of the items on his belt and buckles. We'll use a bit of the ivory to make those just slightly more metallic, but not really change the color away from yellow. We're going for a stylized look.
finalizing up the pinks here, and pow! Suddenly, he spawned a base. We've completed Ragnar. He's good to go, ready to make some waves in the Underhive. Thank you for joining me this week. I'll be back again next week with another video, so make sure you hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and other social medias linked down below. And until next time, have a great week.